Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another episode checking out some of your guys' solar system but before we get into that guys just a massive massive thank you as we are just so close to 7,000 now we're less than 30 away I mean we are really really close so just a massive massive thank you to um you all for subscribing if you are new and also a massive thanks to everyone who comes back all the time for new videos but um yeah just a huge thanks to you guys it's absolutely amazing um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into today's video. So, yes, episode 73, damn. Episode 73 of checking out a subscriber solar system. Right, so yeah, we got two from PDT Mark today, so I'll leave a link to him down below um, in the description for this video. But um, yeah, let's get into his systems for today. So the first system is called the Ball System. Oh, yeah, the Ball System. B-A-L-L, -L. let's search that up. So Ball. Oh, sorry, right. there we go. There we are. Right, so he said run after check-ins. We've got to click play on this. And oh my god, what is this? What is this? Look at this. This is like a rainbow. Okay, this should be really interesting. Okay, so first up we got Fireball here. This is very, very cool. I'm guessing he's got one of those view modes on. Because that is looking... Okay, I thought it was a different staff. A coloured staff. Alright, never mind. Alright, so here is Fireball. It's basically the sun in stats there. Alright, so then we have Red Ball over here. So an all red one, then he's a yellow one. Ooh, I like that. I've never seen a yellow one of these. That's looking very fine. Then we've got a green one over here. Then a cyan one. Okay. Blue. And then purple at the end. Okay. So pretty small little thing here. But let's see um let's see what happens when we click play. So play. What is gonna happen here? I mean, it's clearly not gonna stay stable, is it? Something's got to happen here. Alright, so we've already got stuff uh falling out oh my god what is going on here <laughs> what if we get any collisions or not oh no where's that green one gone has it already been destroyed green balls a star what has happened oh no so we've got two stars in here now oh no this is not good yeah the, it looks like i think the red and green one collided to make the green one a star that's not good <laughs> And what happened to the orange one? Oh dear, I have no idea. But this is just chaos. I mean, damn. It's just crazy chaos of all of these gas giants um, um, and all that. Anything else going to happen though? It seems um, the orbits could clean up after all and then stuff's getting tossed out. Something else just collided with the purple one there. And they've all shot out now. So there are our surviving ones. So you can see only four of them are left. But if we, originally, if we go back into it, only four are left. But originally... There was six. So, yeah, they all got destroyed. Oh, there wasn't an orange one. Okay, so, yeah, it was the red that collided with the green um, that happened there. But, anyways, yeah, that is the first system of today. So, yeah, really uh, interesting one where we actually have to play it out to uh, see these. All right, so, yeah, next up we've got a system called the Sa it was Sagittarius, wasn't it? Uh, let me just quickly find it. Yeah, Sagittarius A stars. Let's see what he's got in here for us. So, let's see. Oh, my God, what is this? Oh, okay, so we've got a ton of stuff around here. So I'm guessing these could all be based off real stars around the centre of the Milky Way. Maybe. That's just a prediction. He didn't leave any message or anything for this. So let's click play and let's um, watch this magic happen. So let's speed this up. I'm guessing this would probably take quite a while for everything to move. Oh, that does look cool. So imagine the whole galaxy around all this. This is all this stuff at close to the galactic centre here. And all these fast-moving light speed stars almost. I don't know. Shooting stars. I mean, it does look pretty cool. So if this is all done like the real sense of the Milky Way, then these stars should be pretty stable in the way they go. Maybe apart from that one. That's just got knocked out. Well, that's probably going to leave the Milky Way. Honestly, how fast is it going? Going pretty quick. Look at that. So, yeah, look at its speed. Nothing compared to the speed of light, but still going pretty quick there. Look at these guys go. They're getting close to the black hole. If they get too close, they will get destroyed. So they got to be careful. <laughs> so traveling at years here. So even all the stuff close to the galactic center, it still takes years to go around the black hole, which is pretty crazy stuff. So so what's the um, orbit time of this one, for instance? Just depends if these even are based off um, the real stars. So are the real stars near the close to the galaxy here? So it takes 1.7 years to go around Sagittarius, say. So if it was any closer, it would get destroyed by the black hole. So there's all of that. It does look pretty cool seeing all these stars just fly around everywhere. That's what it looks like without them. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's like one of those sparklers you get on a bonfire night. If you live in the UK, 
the firework night, or however you want to call it. It reminds me of one of those, those sparklers. <laughs> right, but yeah, there we go. So there is all of that good stuff. Right, pretty nice indeed. This is pretty um, short stuff today, and I know Mark did say he's made them all really short so he can fit more than one in an episode, but I mean, it's fair enough, because usually my rules are two per video, but if they're, like, we've been going for about five minutes, so I guess we can throw in a, maybe another one or two, but he's making them extra small by the looks of it, just so he can get more in an episode. Really sneaky, but... Overall, it's still less stuff to look at if you do it all in separate systems. Okay, so let's um, go up and look. So I have to download a bit more on the spot here because I don't know, uh, I don't know how um, big or small any of these are. All right, so um, I guess we'll just go ahead and look at this one. Luckily, I can download them pretty quickly um, while we are filming this. So, all right, so the next one is called the Macon. Okay, so let's quickly open. So Macon, you probably uh, what's it? Go uh, nuts about it, saying, "Oh, well, I'm the only person who's got like free." Um, in this, or three uh, ones done in the same episode or whatever. Um, okay, so what, what is the name of this? It's the May Ken. So it should be... I can't find it! Help! Why is it not showing up? Huh. Where is it? It's still weird. Should be in here. The M. Is it here? No? I can't find that one. Let me try, let me try getting that again. Oh, hang on. It should just... Be, it doesn't have a the in front of it. Okay, so it's that. There we go. That's what we want. So it's this system here. Right, so they're pretty small stuff indeed. I mean, we could go through a few of these in one episode. But even though we're doing more simulations, the overall amount of objects is probably way smaller than some of the big ones we've done. So let's see what he's done here. So we've got a Barry Center with two objects in a binary here. Then we've got some moons orbiting further out by the looks of it. Pretty crazy stuff um, when you look at the trails. But if you look at the orbits, it does look a little more clean. Because obviously that is just nuts. You can't see what's going on. But I guess if you pause it, it's still pretty crazy. But if you use trails, you can really see it. The Barry Center is just a perfect circle, pretty much. I mean, these guys are actually orbiting around pretty nicely. So it's almost like a Pluto and Charon, in a way. And they're actually warming each other up from Roosh Limit, by the looks of it. When they get really close, it looks like they're actually heat they've got tidal heating going on there. Pretty cool stuff. But again, a very small simulation with very basic stuff. There's not really any modded objects in any of these. They're just regular um, objects. Oh, I went out of full screen. Let's quickly fix that. So, all right, there we go. Righty. So, let's, um, I guess we'll look at another one. So, yeah, these are all really small simulations um, he's put in this giant. He just uploaded, like, tons at once at one point. I'm just going through all of them. Might as well get them. I'll do a few of them. So, all right, there we go. So, this one's called the Pro... Okay, so... So I P R O no get rid of that. Right. P R O. Okay, um where is it here? This one here. Right. See what he's got in here. Okay, so it's this you just uh more bi more um stuff with Barry centers as we can see here, but in a binary orbit, as you can see. It's like Pluto and Charon, um, with the way they're working there. But um yeah, there we go for that one. I guess we could do one more. These are so small though. I mean you should put them all in one one big system, all these little binary things. Let's um try and go to a well, yeah, we'll end, we'll end off of this one because it'd be pretty ridiculous going through all of these. So, all right, the Craggle Micro Cruster. Apparently, I already have this one saved. I guess we'll replace it and look at it again. Have, have I done this one before? Let's have a look. Uh, Craggle. Oh, yeah, I, I think I, I recognize this. Okay. Have we have we done this before? I think we have. I, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. What does this look like? I'm, I'm sure we've done this. Because I already had the thing saved. I must have done it for a video at one point. Yeah, yeah, I did. I remember this one. Because these all had their own stuff around it. Yeah, I, I remember this. I've done that one. Right, okay. So, I guess I can try one more simulation. If um, it's one I've done, then I'll have to just leave it off there for today. But, yeah, he's got... He's just sent so many systems in. Yeah, yeah, we, I have done the Craggle system before. I just saw an older version of it. All right, um... Okay, I guess we'll do one more, then, from this giant pile that he's uploaded in the upload chat here. So... I guess I'll just pick and choose. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, this one looks interesting. Tr stable triple planet system. Let's um, let's see what um, he's got in this one for today. So, yeah, there we go. He'll probably be very happy. I've done, like, five of them today. So, um, yeah, enjoy, I guess. All right. Um, so, let's search this up and let's see what this free star system is. Or free planet system. Here we go. Wait. What's the name of the ex what's the exact system name? Okay, the stable. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. 
Right, so this is a triple stable planet system. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let's just use trails. That'd be a little easier. So those two are orbs in each other there. So it's a it's a pair or a binary pair of planets, and they're in orbit with this third one. So you can see those two are orbiting each other while they're orbiting with this one as well. So yeah, it's a triple. Yeah, those two are in a pretty perfect binary orbit, and while they're in their binary, they're also in orbit with this third one over here. Making that okay, pretty cool stuff. It must be a pretty technical um, episode for today, rather than having like fancy modded objects and stuff like that. We've got a more technical side to checking out subscriber solar systems, I guess. So it's a nice little change from the usual, um, actually. So yeah, pretty cool stuff, and I'm pretty um, glad I checked out all of these little mini simulations because like it may be small, but it's still pretty sweet. So yeah, small but sweet, um, if you ask me. But um, yeah, guys, let me know which one. Um, you think is the best down below out of the ones we checked out today, or just let us know um, what you think of these. I'm pretty sure the creator PDT Mark would be interested to hear your thoughts on this, but yeah, he's made them so small, so I think it can uh, sort of bypass the rules in that way, because usually, like I said, the rule is two per video, but if you make them extra small like this, it is. I definitely think it's fair enough to do a few more if you... Um, understand me there but yeah and um, that is it for today's video guys so yeah hopefully you all enjoyed make sure if you did hit that like button subscribe helps on the journey to 7,000 as we're literally like 20 people away now so yeah really really cool stuff and let's still see if we can go for 30 likes on this video overall guys but yeah with that all out of the way make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye